throwing shade at on fleek, uh, merging words across the Twitterverse. So what are these words and how are they emerging? Um, on fleek, uh, so here are some examples of on fleek being used on Twitter. Uh, how are your ponytail still on fleek after a whole game, AKA battle? Um, that's from official LAX girl. And we're gonna go through these so you got a feel for what it is. I'm not gonna define the, the phrase. Um, it's 2015, when is someone going to invent an easier way to keep your eyebrows on fleek? Um, Twilight Girls during EID, may your eyebrows be on fleek and makeup be on point, which I think is a uh, controversial tweet to send out. <laughs> uh, so this has a great use of on fleek. It also has a fantastic use of might as well. You can see, you can see the hashtag minus well, uh, which you're laughing, but it's a fantastic uh, use of uh, the English language. I'm going to start using it. Um, uh, and so those are, you, so now you have a feeling for on fleek and how to use it. Uh, it's approximately looking good, especially when it comes to eyebrows. Uh, words are important. Um, don't just go around saying this, uh, and they mean it. So, uh, and that's like a really interesting point about emergent words across the Twitterverse is that they are in groups, cultural, uh, really fascinating things uh, from that, from there. But these words leak, uh, and they leak all over. Um, and obviously there's like a close tie-in uh, uh, between uh, black Twitter and, uh, I believe this is Portuguese, but there's like so much Twitter slang in there that I struggled. Um, <laughs> but you can see Pa Fleek, uh, which is awesome, um, and we can get into I live in Sweden. Um, the translation is, my eyebrows are on fleek today. Oh my god. Uh, my eyeliner is always on fleek. Heart, heart, heart. And on the 26th of June, the USA was on fleek that day. That was uh, gay marriage. Uh, France always avoids the English language, right? The French. Like, they just allowed the first English word into the French dictionary, uh, which is a Twitter word that they allowed in. So here we have, my shirt, my black shirt is on fleek, with a lot of excitement at the beginning. Um, <laughs> my French is not as good as my Swedish, so I'm not even gonna, I don't know. Um, does anyone here speak French? What does this one say? Anyway. It's good, it's been an hour since I plucked my eyebrows. Thank you. <laughs> I really enjoy this audience participation now. Um, a good voyage is all these things, totally on fleek. Uh, on fleek as one word, no space. Um, and uh, uh, here's a use of the word totally on fleek, uh, uh, spilling into French. I think that's a really fantastic use. Um, and makeup uh, also being used here instead of the French word for makeup. Um, Super awesome how that's spilling. Um, and so now we have to go into the other side of the talk of throwing shade, which is a thing that can be caught and thrown. Um, <laughs> and so back into English so you can get a feeling for how to use it. Uh, did you know you can compliment your favorite rapper without throwing shade on another? I'm actually 100% playing man. A little strange, I don't care that much. Just fun to throw shade. Um, they throw in shade like I don't chill in it. <laughs> Speaks the truth. And so, um, and Taylor Swift gets, gets pulled into this too, a lot. And you'll see more about Taylor Swift in less than a minute. Um, moms are professional shade throwers. <laughs> and so Swedes really like this one, a lot. Uh, Katy Perry are uh, supporting the Back Nikki movement. Slengde, uh, so throwing major shade at Taylor. Um, I really like that one. That's a great use of that, that Swedish verb. Um, the French, they, they don't use that as much, but I found one example. Uh, also throwing, bringing shade, uh, Taylor Swift in. Um, uh, and MM, I had to look this one up. Is it like a general purpose French word? Uh, it's approximately like get in English, uh, but you can just use it wherever you want, however you want, and that is that. And so I leave you with your moment of yes. zen. Thank you.